Hey guys, it's John, and we're just a few days out from heading on the Appalachian Trail. Thought I'd take a few minutes to kind of go over some of the equipment that I'll be taking on the, on the trail with me. Um, and I'm just going to jump right into it. So, first thing I want to talk about is I have a Hyperlite Junction uh, 55 liter bag along with, uh, I think it's the Versa. fanny pack right and this actually fits really well on the actual strap when it goes in um, so very excited about this pack I bought it uh, this year uh, to replace my Gregory and has done wonders for me so this is the bag that I will be using on the trail um, next thing I want to talk about is uh, my tent system so I will be using uh, this guy here the big Agnes uh, Copper Spur um, uh, UL2. Uh, this has the Mountain Glow uh, technology in it. So this has basically little LED lights in it. It takes uh, three AAA batteries. I just kind of thought that was a nice thing to have. Otherwise, uh, you know, this pound, this is uh, like right around two pounds, a little over two pounds. Um, but I've, I slept in this tent. I love it. Um, for one person, this is a two person tent. For one person, this thing actually works really well. Along with that, I have um, the, the footprint that I bought from Big Agnes. Um, I have my tent poles in a separate bag. And then the actual uh, tent stakes that I will be using um, are going to be the Big Agnes tent poles that I got with uh, the tent, which um, I did buy some MSR groundhogs and I just kind of decided just to use these. These are small and light and they work really well. Um, so moving on from there, I have a uh, Thermarest Neo, Neo Air XL Lite. It's a 25 uh, inch wide. Um, that seemed to work really well with me. The 20 was just a little bit too small. Um, so I'll be taking that on the trail and I'll be sleeping in the uh, Big Agnes Sidewinder uh, 20. Um, so this, I've had this bag for a little while. It seems to be shedding a little bit of down. You can kind of see that there. But other than that, it's very comfortable for being a side sleeper like I am. Um, it's actually probably the best sleep I've had. So, and that's basically the basics of it. I will be using a my pillow um, travel pillow. Um, this thing does kind of sneaks in here like that. Um, I've gone through like five or six different pillows and for the price of this pillow, I, I couldn't beat it. So, um, that's where I ended up at. Also, I do have the Thermarest uh, Z seat. Uh, so if I'm sitting down, I did buy a chair and I was going to carry a chair, but it was just a little bit too much weight for me. So I decided to basically just scrap that and, um, keep this guy here. So. The only other thing I got listed um, uh, for my sleeping system, even though it's not a sleeping system, is the uh, the passport, the AT passport. I'm one of those people that I just like to get stamps along my journey, so I'm excited about that one. Uh, moving on to electronics, um, I do have a, a GoPro 11 um, along with uh, three batteries and a charger. So I will be taking that along with me. Right now I'm filming on my phone. Um, if I end up just liking my phone better than uh, the GoPro, then I'll probably send this back home. But starting off, I'm definitely taking these with me. Um, I do have uh, two anchor six-foot cables um, that are red, so I can easily find them. Uh, but I figured I needed long cables to ensure that when I'm charging someplace that I can actually still use it as opposed to the outlet's really low on the ground. Um, and I also have the Belkin uh, 26800 um, battery charger. So one thing that's nice about this is it, it comes with two cables. I can go ahead and charge this with two cables and it'll cut the charge time down. But this should give me about four or five charges on my phone. Um, should be plenty enough to, to go out and, and be on the trail. Um, I also have a four charging um, plug-in. 
Uh, so that way I could have two for my, my charger and then I could charge my phone and then whatever else I want to charge. Um, also within electronics, I have a, a, a Pony Pro Elite um, hard drive. This is a one uh, 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 terabyte hard drive, so that way I can go ahead and take anything from my phone and just transfer it here and save it. I do have also the uh, um, the black diamond spot for my uh, uh, for my light system as I'm walking out at night. I do have three AAA batteries with for this, but I also have. Um, six uh, pale blue batteries and these pale blues I've been using these for a while you can just charge them right in um, so that way um, I should have like a total of six and in case something ever dies I can just charge them up and keep going and I'm not really out of anything and the big thing is really my Garmin inReach Mini 2 uh, this will make sure that if you guys want to see me um, uh, you can go ahead and and click on my all links i'll have a link to this and it'll show where i'm at on the trail and in case i ever get into trouble then i have an sos button that i can press to make sure somebody can find me so and then i'm going to be wearing some bluetooth ones as well uh these are the uh, uh the aftershocks um uh headphones and they're basically bone conducting so as if i'm hiking but I want to hear some but some what's going on around me I can still hear the stuff but listen to music so I decided to kind of have a little bit of both when I'm hiking um, other than that um, that's all I have for my electronics that I'm, I'm taking aside from my my phone which is in uh, uh, Samsung a 23 ultra and this is my mp3 player with my red Sony headphones um, this is the uh, Timku. Um, I this so way I can listen to music and I got some movies I can watch on there um, without really killing my battery. So. Moving on to hygiene, um, I have the Deuce, which is a, a 0.97 ounce trowel uh, along with some uh, toilet paper in case I need it. I will also be carrying a, a uh, portable uh toothbrush along with some a small tube of of uh, toothpaste i have um, a comb which i will probably switch this one out and then i also have um this guy here and some nail clippers here um the one thing that i got going on i do have uh, a wet pack of uh, a 20 piece wet pack and I also have some um, uh, floss that I actually cut up and I set aside. So, um, looking into cooking, I've kind of talked about this before. I have a, uh, a big canister of fuel, a 230 gram canister of fuel. And I will be utilizing the MSR Pocket Rocket 2. Uh, when I'm on the trail and I will have two big lighters these are big ones but I will probably um, go and buy two small ones here fairly soon that way in case I lose one I'll have another one um, I do have also a one um, Sea to Summit X mug that I'll be using this is like two cups somewhere I can have my cup of coffee in the morning and I will be utilizing uh, this titanium um, MSR um, uh, cooking pot on the trip and I have a titanium Sea to Summit long uh, spork so got everything I need for that I will also I brought bought one of these lodge units um, that way when I want to clean out my pot I can clean it out if it ends up being useless I'll just throw it away um, I do have a Z-Packs bag, uh, that for my food storage, and I do have a, a rock bag with some um, uh, a rope and a carabiner, and I have an um, Apex Giant dog bone to do um, 
my bear hang. Uh, the last video I did talks about how I did that, and I think it works really, really well, to be honest with you. Moving on to my, uh, my knife. I have an uh, MTK neck knife. So this guy will fit right around my neck. And that way, if I ever need it, I can just grab it and use it. It's very lightweight and very, very sharp and very, very sturdy. So, really a great, great knife. Uh, moving on to some clothes that I'm bringing. Uh, I am bringing uh, a bug net. It's getting close to that season. Not quite there, but it's getting close. And I did buy a new buff. Uh, the last one that I had was kind of tight. Just wanted something a little looser. Um, I'm bringing a uh, Columbia socking hat. I had a um, been hiking with uh, one of my hats I got from the Monumental Marathon. And I just didn't want to lose it. This way, if I don't need it anymore, I can actually just throw it away because it was on sale. Um, I have an REI dry shirt right here. Um, nice little t-shirt. And then an extra pair of underwear. I'm not going to go into details on that. And then some um, uh, Dick Sporting Goods running shorts. So I do wear a lot of running shorts when I go run, and those are actually the best shorts I could get. I also am going to be having wearing one pair and carrying another pair of darn tough socks. Uh, these are actually really good and comfortable and durable, and I haven't had an issue with those yet. So very excited about using those. Uh, when it comes to rain gear, I have gone back and forth on this one. I am decided just to use, uh, I have a North Face rain gear jacket. I've had this for a really long time. It's been great, bought it on sale. And then I also have, um, I bought some Columbia rain pants. Um, I've gone back and forth with wanting to use the Frog Tog rig suit, which would save me about a pound. But then again, I know that these are really good. And I figure if I decide to change later on in the trail, I can just go ahead and and probably buy some and ship those back. So, um, I will be starting off with my Patagonia puffy jacket. Um, I got this on sale at REI last year and it's been wonderful and it's completely warm for a night. And um, I love my Appalachian Trail uh, hoodie. This thing, I've been hiking in this all winter and it keeps, keeps me completely warm. Um, of course, when it actually gets to the temperature where I don't need it, I'll send those back home to save me some weight. Um, and of course, the standard red uh, scarf. So, red handkerchief. And that's about all I'll be wearing there. Um, I do have a pair of Dirty Girl Gators uh, that I will be use, utilizing on my shoes. And uh, I've had these things for a couple years. I started doing it with trail running and it's the best way to keep rocks and dirt out of your out of your shoes when hiking. Okay, and I will also be wearing uh, these. These are my Speed Goat shoes, um, Speed Goat Fives from Hoka. I've been uh, hiking and trail running in in the Speed Goats for a couple years now, and I love them. They're great. Um, I already got my Velcro on the back for my Dirty Girl Gators. And so these are broken in and ready to go. Uh, moving on into, oh, we almost forgot. I'm bringing a pair of flip-flops. Um, these were the cheapest I could find. Hopefully they kind of last, but I just wanted something that when I, I get back, um, when I get off the trail, just to take my shoes off and just to have them and something else, I kind of let my feet breathe. So I decided to try that. If they, if I don't like it, I'll throw them away. Um, talking about uh, water, uh, real quick. So I am going to bring my uh, Sawyer Squeeze with me. Um, I do have one O-ring in here, and I will have another one with me um, when I am on the trail, just as a backup. I'll have my CNAC bag to get the water. If I decide that uh, I want to go and um, just filter in straight into the uh, uh, my water bottle because I'll be carrying two um, smart water bottles. I can screw this cap on this end and then this will screw in on this side 
and then I can just kind of hang it upside down and then the water will just gravity feed down. Um, so I am keeping this. Um, yeah, so that's that system right there. And um, that's all I really have for the water at this point. Um, don't really need a whole lot. So let's talk about first aid. Um, I will be carrying hand lotion. That's that. It'll be right on my backpack. Um, I do have, I did buy some lidocaine pain roller and then some uh, Voltaren um, just in case for my pain on my feet. I know it's going to happen. So uh, the lidocaine will just keep me going until I get where I need to be. And uh, the Voltaren will be for like in the mornings, uh, at least till I can just get used to the trail. And of course I got ibuprofen. Um, and then I got just a hodgepodge of stuff, uh, band-aids, gauze, tape. Um, I got some blister stuff for my feet just in case I get it. And I got some uh, Vaseline in there in case I get some chafing or something. And of course, um, bug spray. So, I mean, I'm right at that edge of needing bug spray and I just decided, you know what, I'm just gonna take it with me. So that's essentially everything that I'm taking on this uh, three month journey um, out into the wilderness. So um, this will be my last video until I start doing my uh, vlogs. I'm gonna try to do daily vlogs. There will be uh, probably like a week or so off from where I'm at, but down on the below, it will be my, uh, in the, in the uh, description of this video, will be a link to my all links. And in my all links, there's a link to uh, my lighter pack, which is all this stuff, and most of it has links to it. So if you want to see, you can click on it, see what I've, I'm using. And then uh, there's a link to the Garmin. So that Garmin link will, should show you my last activity. And um, I also have my Instagram and I So yeah, so you can go ahead and uh, like Scrub's video if uh, you enjoyed this content. Um, I hope to I hope you follow me on this journey and uh, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you on the trip.